Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part two to building a PC. My uh, brief guide here is going to go through where we left off. So in my last part one review here, we were looking at installing the power supply. So I just put the power supply appropriately here at the bottom. And then the next thing is to fasten it on with the thumb screws that it comes with or with the case screws. I have case screws that match, so I might as well just use those since I have a whole bag full of them. And uh, that way it's all black and matching. So I put those on there, and then now we got to figure out the cables. What power cables do we use? That's the source of all the mess. So I'm using a modular power supply, which I definitely recommend you use. And it has a legend here, so it tells you what is for what, obviously, and the manual of the power supply helps. And uh, the motherboard connector is the largest one, and usually that's where I start off, connecting the motherboard. And uh, then we follow through with the remaining ones. So. I already have the cables routed through the uh, case hole and then going out through the top. So I'll just plug this motherboard uh, connector in there and just go through the other side and then plug in the other end of that cable to the motherboard connector, which uh, you can see here at the top. It matches. It's obvious. It has 24 pins on it. So you can't really go wrong on uh, where it is that it's going. Just make sure that it goes in there easily and that it's fastened in there and doesn't come out. Next thing is the 8-pin or 4-pin motherboard power connector that you might have. So I'll, I have an 8-pin one, so I'm just going to connect that in there, make sure it's tight, nothing comes out. And also the PCI Express connector, which is color-coordinated in this case, so it makes it easy. And also a 6-pin peripheral connector, so that's for your hard drives and fans and uh, DVD drive and stuff like that. So here I got the 8-pin, like I mentioned, I'll follow the cable all the way up through the top of the case and then plug it in on the motherboard 8-pin connector that matches. And again, the instructions on this cable are in the motherboard manual. Same thing for the video card. It's just using a 6-pin PCI Express connector, the blue one. If I follow the blue cable, this is the other end, and I just plug it into the video card. Some video cards use two 6-pin. Some use a 6-pin and an 8-pin. Some don't even use anything, right? So depends on your video card. Now, if we look at the other side of the case, I already have these uh, fan uh, connectors already attached to the case and I've used some velcro ties that came with the power supply these are very nice obviously because you can take them out readjust tie it in so I've used some of those and of course there's the standard plastic uh, twist ties that you can get uh, very easily and usually come with um, with the power supplies and cases and stuff like that so uh, odds are you'll get one of these when you buy your your components so as you can see I've got some white ones there and some black ones some twist ties already attached and it's not about making this look pretty it's about making it look flat neat and tidy up against the motherboard tray up against the case so that way you can have everything nicely laid out and also flat okay so that when you put the side panel there's no interference no one's gonna see this because you have the side panel on there anyways there's no window on this side so don't worry about it it doesn't have to look pretty the main thing is that you've got it organized that you can access it and, um, and that it's flat, flush against the back, okay, so it doesn't stick out. That's, that's the point that I want to make here. So once you've done that and you've attached everything to the motherboard tray, there's twist ties, there's holes in there, um, you've got everything uh, laid out the way you want it, then uh, put the uh, side panel on and then go back to the other side, make sure that there's any other last-minute adjustments that you need to do there, and uh, get ready to, I uh, guess, install your hard drive, your DVD drive, or fans, and things like that, if there's anything remaining that you have to do. Uh, in this case, I've got everything ready to go, except for the drives. So here at the bottom, I've got the uh, headers for the USB, the audio, and the um, LEDs on the, on the case, the power switch. All of that has been attached here along the bottom of the motherboard, and that's standard. Pretty much on every motherboard, it's like that, okay? And then I routed it through the hole here. So on my next part three, we'll install the hard drive, boot it up, and get the thing going, and I'll show you how it works, okay? So uh, I hope you enjoyed the part two, and thank you for watching.